The recent tanker inferno at the Otedola Bridge in Lagos, where more than 64 vehicles got burnt and several lives lost. The recent flooding at Kasina and Abeokuta in Ogun State were a quick reminder by the various speakers as serious disasters that have challenged Nigerians' level of preparedness to emergency management situations. And we need to start practicing safety, uh, developing safety culture in Nigeria. Safety first, and safety is everybody's business. Preparedness is the heart of making sure that we reduce the impact of whether natural or techno disasters. The time has come for Nigerians to know what they need to do before government arrives. The first 72 hours are very critical to know what you should have in the house in terms of water. Everything can be zero if you plan, you follow procedures, and you do things the right way. You pour water on the floor, you mop it. Somebody can be coming behind you with the slippers, and the slippers can make the person fall, and the person will hit the head and fall in the bath. We have too many issues in bathroom safety that people have fall, either broken their shoulders, they've even hit their head and gone into coma, and from there they passed on. Being, when you're in the industry, obeying the um, instructions, following, using the machine, putting a machine guard is, is an instruction that we must follow. We are finding that in our industries today, the machine guard has been removed. So the person that is working on the machine is having a straight one-on-one um, uh, uh, -one, you know, kind of impact with the machine. We maintain our vehicles. You see your vehicle is showing red. The tires are shaking. You know that it's time to do alignment. You don't do it. One knot has come out. The second knot came out. Then the third knot, when you're going on speed, the tire came out and rolled and meet somebody else's car and the car some assaulted and led to fire. Eventually we've done all the things we need to do and it happens. Don't wait to be taking video and be posting it. It could be you. Have you assessed? You must risk assess yourself. Identify the hazard. Petrol is pouring. Cars are burning. You don't think that, and there is what we call fire triangle. Oxygen, fuel, and uh, oxygen fuel and source of ignition. If you are there, fire can still continue. You are not supposed to hang around at all. Move away far distance. The other thing I want to say to all of us, even you as journalists, let us go and learn first aid. How we can help somebody. Paradventure you are going, you see someone. There are so many people that have died needless deaths. Why? Because they just needed help. They had their airways blocked. They just needed somebody to put them in recovery position. They were panting and losing their breath. They just needed some uh, cardiopulmonary resuscitation so that they'll be alive because it only takes five minutes for us to be, have blocked breath and pass on. So some people, just five minutes of no help, it will make them pass on. A child will choke now. If you don't know what to do, to give the child back slaps or front uh, my chest massage, the thing will not dislocate. It will block the air passage and it will cause death. If my fabric is on fire now, my training has told me that stop, drop, and roll. I will not run because I know that there is oxygen in the air. So if I run, I will give the fire more energy. So I will roll on the floor. Stop, drop, and roll. As I'm rolling, I'm extinguishing the fire. I'm rolling towards safety. We have a running man here, and he's telling us to go out this way. I will not use the lift. I will roll out. You can have a few bonds, but you will not roast and die. Do you understand? So there are safety measures for everything. Every car should have a fire extinguisher, the right one. And it should be under the seat of the driver. Put your gas tank outside, outside the kitchen, because I just told you about fire triangle, fuel, oxygen, and ignition source. You know in the kitchen, you already have your matches, and eh, you have gas, and you have oxygen is in the air. You don't even need that one to be present. But when the three are present, fire will start. When the three are not present, fire will not start. So you, the way to prevent fire from starting is to break the oxygen, the fire triangle. You put your gas tank outside, you are saying that um, explosion, bam, cannot start because it's outside. So there's a distance. Do we understand? So that's for the kitchen safety. Don't use your phone in the okay, because of the smell and the leak of gas and everything. It's just, let me say, a prevention. 